Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to discuss a little bit more about the lists and some of the rare use cases. So if you go to the documentation here and let me open the documentation that we were going through. Okay, so here we have the uh, documentation, Playwright documentation. And there, if you just scroll down, we were looking at the lists, right? So for example, if I say locators, we were into the locators. So I'll search for locators and in the locators page we were at the last section wherein rare use cases now they are mentioning it as a rare use case but then you will see that here we have something very useful for automation okay so for example very common scenario within automation is uh, when you are doing a web automation that you want to check what all web elements are present for example you want to check a particular table or uh, the content of some of the item for example there are certain lists on the page and you want to check the content and validate that the content matches with the expected right so in those particular scenarios iterating over the multiple web elements or, or the web element of similar kind for example lists right so list uh, when we say list item these are by the role list item you can see that okay on a page there are multiple list items as we have seen so for example if I go to this particular website training.rcv Right, so we were working with some of the lists and here I want to validate that the content here in this particular list matches with the expected, right? Very common use case in the web automation. So iterating over the list items and then validating is very, very important example that we can go ahead and look at. Now, if we go ahead and see what all is possible, so you'll see that within JavaScript, there is a for off loop okay so simply if i go here you'll see w3 schools quickly you can go and refer so there is a for off loop okay so there are for for in for off now for off loop within javascript is it lets you to iterate or loop over iterable data structures for example arrays strings map node list etc right so this this is what for off loop will help you to do and within playwright as well now because we are using javascript so we can use for off loop to iterate over the list item or the multiple items that we get on a particular page so this is the format of it and we'll simply go ahead and understand and use it right so iterating over the element so we can simply say okay for each row for each you can say for row of the list items of all list items on page what i want to do i want to print the text on the console item i want to assert something i want to do something else you can then define that right so this is very very important loop or iterating over the element then you can also use the regular loop so i'll cover for off loop and regular loop as they have explained here so you can basically use them in your automation projects so let me copy this or simply first go ahead and i'll copy this file i'll say list for off file name enter and then we'll simply go ahead and work with this okay so let me remove the things that are not required okay so here I'll remove all of this now what we are doing here is so there was a list section okay and within the list list section so in this page this is the list section which we were looking for and the list items four list items so now if I want to go ahead and check what all content is there for each of these list items and then validate or match these then I can use for off loop and further assertions okay so how we are going to do so list section variable contains the list item basically the location or the Th that section web element right so this section web element okay this we have already understood now the next thing is we can go ahead and within this list section we can use the for off loop to iterate over the list items the four list items that you see there okay these list items as explained here so for each row of the list items that we know will iterate over okay so simply i'll go ahead and copy and i'll then explain okay so what they are trying to do here at the moment let me type it okay so when we say for okay so for off loop so for off loop we are first what we are doing we are defining a variable basically a constant with a name row you can specify any name there but i'll say row or list item okay so here we are having the list item so i'll simply say okay const list our list item is research so list item 
on page okay list item on page for list item on page of of what so there is a list section so you can say on all the page okay so you can say page dot get by role list item also either all the list items okay here they are saying all the list items on the page okay so page dot get by role list item will get me all the list items on the page and then when you say dot all dot all basically is the method right this returns an array of locators okay so when you say dot all it will return the array of locators pointing to their respective elements and then you can iterate over so dot all is presenting an array and that's why we are able to use for off loop on the array right because array is iterable so we can simply do the same thing for the list items section okay we are only interested in the list items section not every list on the page okay so first we'll do only for a particular section and then we'll do for all page for all page it's simple right so for the list item what we have to do is we have to simply then say okay this section right so list section dot similarly like right like page dot get by role or list section get by role it's same thing right so get by role and then we'll simply say list item okay so list item and then we'll say dot all okay so now dot all will this will basically return me the list items right and then dot all will return an array of these list items right so this returns an array of locators and then for off loop can iterate over these list of locators now we have got everything now what we want to do when the iteration happens i simply go ahead and log right so i'll say console.log I'll say console.log and what we are going to log we are going to log the list item on page dot text content so text content will fetch the context of that particular web element right this particular text right so it will fetch the text each text of these web elements and should print on it okay print on the console so this is basically how we are going to do for a particular section on a page so here what we are doing here we are specifically saying go to this particular section which with what with this list section locator we have found the locator or identified the locator for the particular section okay so this section we are saying this is the locator where i want to go and get all the list items so first thing what we are doing here in the code is to identifying the list section locator where i want to go so this is basically saying page dot locator by the x path i am identifying that location and storing it in a variable list section and then i am saying for that particular list section get by role so get all the elements in that particular list section by role which is of type list item right so this will get me all the list items that are there in this particular section so only four list items are there so it should get four and then i am using for off loop which is basically this loop over list items over all the list items that are present in this list section and then printing the text content of those list items okay that's the first thing now the second thing is for for off loop for all the page list items okay so on this particular page these four are, are the list items there are other list items on the page as well for example these headers are also list items the, there are some footer list items as well so if we want to go ahead and print the text content of all the list items on the page then what we are doing we are simply ch changing this to page page dot get by role all and then console row dot text content right so here you can specify any variable name right so here they have specified row you can put any relevant name for example list item on page right which is easily memorable and you or, or makes sense and correlatable okay so this is how you are going to use for off loop to iterate over the elements within the page multiple elements within the page okay so let me save this and let's execute this and see okay so let me go ahead and run this and see what is the so it has launched the page okay i think it should have yeah it's still executing let's see outcome is okay you see that it has passed and if you scroll over okay let me straight away go to the report right so that will be easier to okay so this is the report right i'll specify better reporting uh, for for the test later right this is the initial part of the course so that is why uh, we are just using the default playwright report so you'll see 
that if we go here okay this is the console dot out right so this is the attachment and you'll see this is basically these are the list items and the text content of those list items right if you see this is the section that we did first iterated over these list items and then printed it right so that that's what it is and then next time we printed iterated over all the list items on the page and that's where all this has been basically printed from the header the midsection whatever list items were there on the particular page have been fetched and the text content being printed on the console okay so this is how we are going to use the for off loop to iterate over the elements now regular for loop as well is absolutely simple all right so if we go ahead and see the regular for loop so simply for you declare a variable right so the the count and then you just say how many rows are there depending on that if it is less than the count you it uh, you increment and then print the text content okay so let's quickly use that as well here so in the same test here how we are going to use the regular for loop okay so now here I'll first thing is to get what all list items are there okay so if say for example I just want to print the list items that are on in this section okay list item on page okay so I'll simply say okay for list item so I'll define a constant list item on page let's say one this time okay and then only in this section so list section I'll say list section dot get by role list item okay so only get me the list items that are present in the list section and not on the whole page if you say page dot get by role it will get all the list items on the page if you say only specific section and you locate that particular section by a locator then it will only get the list items or any um, get by or whichever list items are there in that particular section right so this variable will hold all of those list items right now the second thing is basically to define the count and you can simply say okay for the count you say list items on page dot count right so this will get me what this will get me all the list items by the role in this particular section and then by using dot count we are counting so it what it will do is it will return right it will return a number right when you say dot count it returns the number of elements matching that particular locator so in this case it will return four right because there are four list items okay so this will count which how many list items are there in this particular section one two three four it will return dot count will return the number four now the next thing is using the for loop okay so let me let me just move it below okay so now we can simply say okay traditional for loop so i'll say i'll define a variable okay so i can say a variable i is equal to zero okay and then until i is less than count right because count contains the list items right so until i is less than count i want to say i plus plus i want to increment i every time right so first time this is zero so it will come and say console dot log and then wait and here we'll say row i list item on page one dot nth okay so nth is the method okay so you will see locator dot nth returns the locator of the nth matching element okay it is zero based selects the first element right so it's zero based so basically if there are four elements right so it will start from zero one two three right so that will be four element and that is why we are defining it as one because it's zero based uh, it's defining it as a zero so it's zero based so first time when we say nth of i okay when we say nth of i so first time zero will be replaced here and the first list item in this particular section will be returned this one okay so that's what we are doing here so when we say okay list item on page dot nth it will return the first one and then we'll say what do you do you either you just return the text content right i can do anything i can click on it i can return the text content or if i want to print here i am just printing the text content so i'll say dot text content so what will happen in this case first time okay with the first iteration the value of i is zero zero will get replaced here which will be basically nth of zero which is basically the first item in the list right it will print the text content again the increment will happen so it will become one right so next time in the next loop one will be replaced second time two will be replaced third time three will be replaced and then you'll see that here i have used less than right so as soon as it will reach four then this will be basically i is what is i i is having 
uh, or count is having the number 4 right so i should be less than 4 okay so if it is 4 i has incremented to 4 then the loop will terminate and will come out okay so that's the traditional for loop okay so let me go ahead and what i'll do is i'll simply comment the other two all right so we can clearly see that this particular for loop, for loop is working all right let me close this particular page and let's read on this particular text okay so page ha page has launched and i think it should be printing very soon on the console we should be able to see okay so you'll see the text has been printed right so access all currently published courses then per month price cancel any time access to any new published courses till you are member till you are paid member right so the these are the text items and using traditional for loop this is what has been printed right so if you see here simple right we just have said what list list section dot get by role list item we have stored it in a variable list item on page right then we have counted how many total list items are there by using the count method and then simple for loop okay defining a variable counting or basically checking the count and then incrementing and then printing the text content right and nth is the method that will return the locator based on the place of it right so it's a zero based make sure it is a zero based so if you say zero it will return the first element in the particular array or list right if it is one it will return the second one okay so just make sure that you remember that okay once you start practicing right then you will see that you will become really comfortable in using any of these methods within playwright it's pretty simple and uh, very interesting and easy to learn so once you start with it you'll absolutely love it and keep learning more so that's all for this video i'll see you with more uh, tips and advanced section in the next playwright videos